So tonight I wanted to revisit a video that I made in August 2019 after taking this AR shooting for the second or third time ever I experienced a malfunction after my first shot. I didn't even get one round down range and the bolt carrier group was locked. I couldn't pull the charging handle back and there was a live round in the chamber. Of course, I didn't have internet up in the mountains where I was shooting, so I ended up calling it a day. I think I shot my 22 for a little bit and then I left. And when I got back home, I went on YouTube to research what had happened and how to fix the malfunction. And I had a horrible time finding any search results to this very topic. I think it took me about 15 videos to watch before I finally got what I was looking for and I get comments all the time from people saying that they have the same malfunction and my video helped them a lot I get comments every day on it and at that time of filming that video I didn't really understand what was causing the malfunction but now I have a better understanding of it so I figured I would remake the video and also explain what I've learned in the three years prior. When your bolt carrier group locks up like that, or it could be a combination of things. What I tend to believe now what caused it and what caused it to happen to other people's rifles is the rifle itself not being cleaned, not being lubricated properly, specifically the bolt carrier group, the firing pin, and the ejector. Since I filmed that video, I did a complete disassemble. I hadn't done one yet since I got this. I assumed it was factory lubricated, which it clearly wasn't. And so I learned how to do that. and. I've kept up on the maintenance, cleaning, taking it apart every couple times I go shooting, and I haven't had that issue since. Now originally I thought it was because every time I ran 223, because it happened to me two, three more times after the video, before I started fully cleaning the rifle, and I thought it was using 223 because every time I used 556 five, it never jammed, but then I go back to 223 and it would jam. But after cleaning it thoroughly, it runs 223 and 556 flawlessly. And another theory that I heard from users was when you get a new rifle, the chamber has tight tolerances, so just firing it a few hundred rounds will kind of break it in a little bit, loosen up the tension in the chamber, and keep that issue from happening. So it could be a combination of that and me keeping up with the maintenance of cleaning and lubricating the rifle properly. I'll include a card up there of an AR-15 complete disassemble, cleaning guide, lubrication, and reassembly video that I made if you don't know how, which I didn't at the time. I had to use the Bushmaster manual that came with this rifle to learn how to do it. So it's a really helpful video if you're just getting into ARs or if you've never taken apart the bolt carrier group and cleaned it properly. So now I'm gonna go ahead and recreate the malfunction like I did in the original video. And to do this, I saw this on another YouTuber's video, the one that I finally found that helped me fix the issue. Now what he did was he took a spent shell casing and then he dropped it into the chamber. Okay, well I just had a premonition. I just tried to recreate the circumstances like I did in my original video and firing this spent casing is not jamming it up like it did previously. Now I'm assuming that's because it's either the tolerances have been loosened up, as I previously stated, or just me keeping up with the maintenance and lubrication of the rifle is not allowing that malfunction to happen. But I'll just recreate the method of how to clear the jam using this spent shell casing, although it won't be locked like it was originally in my first video because apparently that's not an issue anymore. <laughs> First most important thing is 
you want to do this outside in a safe environment now technically it should not fire there's no reason slamming the stock down will cause the firing pin to go forward and strike the primer on the cartridge unless your finger is on the trigger for some reason which you should have trigger discipline and never have your finger on the trigger unless you're ready to fire that's one of the first rules of firearms that you learn so I would recommend doing this outside just in case you never know have a backstop maybe a hill or something like that that you could fire into because you don't want to fire straight up into the air but 99.9% .9 chance you're not gonna fire it's not gonna go off unless your fingers on the trigger because it's been debunked by multiple gun experts that slamming the stock down will not engage the firing pin to strike the primer firing off the live round first let's do a safety check on this guy There's nothing in there so I'm gonna insert a spent shell casing back into the chamber okay that's in there and then fire so now originally this would have been stuck it wouldn't move no matter what oh see now it's no nope, no nope. yeah see it's gonna come free okay so now most importantly to clear this malfunction the first thing you want to do is collapse your stock if you try to mortar your rifle without collapsing the stock you could damage the buffer spring or the stock itself and that would not be good okay so now with that out of the way to perform this maneuver you're gonna want to slam the stock of the rifle down while pulling the charging handle down which will create enough force to loosen the charging handle down and eject the round so I'm gonna go ahead and do a demonstration of how this is done so the second the stock hits the surface you're gonna wanna push the button on the charging handle and push down and it's gonna look something like this and there you go problem solved so I hope this helps a lot of people have had a hard time finding the solution to this problem and it's a very common issue with AR-15 platforms especially if you haven't properly cleaned and lubricated your rifle and your bolt carrier group specifically so highly recommend doing that after you clear your round out of the chamber hopefully this new video clears up a lot of the questions that you guys had about what was causing this and what you could do to prevent this from happening so I hope this not only helps but it also puts another video out there for people to find a little easier so they can fix this problem if it occurs to them so with that thanks for watching my video and supporting my channel don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe and share and all that good stuff and have yourself a good day thanks for watching